So what I want to talk about today is how to do backgrounds. There's actually a couple different ways. Some people have had some questions about doing backgrounds. Um, and uh, so we're going to we're just going to talk about how you can do backgrounds on a page um, in some ways that are different. Um, it, what I've showed you before in previous demos is, isn't really technically a background. This photograph is its own container. Um, I can make it look like a background by pinning it and then having no scrolling motion to it or whatever. But we're going to try something different to actually set. We're going to do two ways of setting an actual background to the whole page. Now it does something really interesting when you do that. So first off, let me just open a blank master here. And uh, <clears throat> it's set up just like all the others. We'll undo the fluid width so that it's just uh, uh, normal. It's actually really simple to do. All you have to do is go over to the browser fill. The default is set to white. And instead of playing around with the colors, you can click on browser fill. And now you can load an image just like you can do in a container. So I can load my New York City portrait uh, that I stole off the internet here. I can set it to scale to fill. And then I can pin it top or center or whatever I want to do. So um, let's just set that and hit save. And let's preview this. I guess I got to, there we go. And now you can see that it fills no matter what size the browser is. And I don't have anything else over it, so there's nothing to scroll, but I could put my menu bars and all that sort of stuff on there. Now, one student in the other class was asking, well, that's great, Mr. Weisbro, but you know what would be really cool is if I could have my background image like fade out to another one. Can I do that? And I thought about it for a little while. I know how I would do it if I were writing the code. Um, you can do that with JavaScript, but I wasn't sure. But then, through playing with it, we found that there are slideshows in the widgets. Um, now, we're going to do a widget. I'm going to do a widget uh, slideshow demo with the slideshow widget. But um, you can use it very simply to do a background image. So I'm going to trash this. Let's go back to white. And then I'm going to go to the widget library. And there's a, a folder here for slideshows. We're going to open that up. And there's, <clears throat> we're not going to go through all of these because, again, I, I can, can do a demo just on the slideshows. But here's a full screen uh, slideshow. We're just going to drag that in. And then, boom, it automatically sizes itself to be uh, full screen. Um, <clears throat> now I can click off of that. Let's get rid of that for a second. So now with a slideshow, though, what you do is you can click on it, and there's all sorts of things in here like one to three, so there's three pictures. I'm going to delete that, get rid of it. Now you also have these um, things which are, uh, you know, buttons to move to the next um, to the next image or whatever you want to do. And you can pin these specifically. So you can actually pin individual um, uh, items of the uh, of a slideshow. But we're not going to worry about those right now. All I'm going to do is load a couple images in here. So I click on the slideshow. There's a little arrow over here. Click on that. Add my own images. So there's my portrait guy. I've also got a photo, uh, a photo of, a, of a girl in a t-shirt there. Click open. <clears throat> it's going to load them both. If I click on the, on the buttons, I can go side to side. Click on the arrow here. And I can set my time. So my transition speed is 0.5 seconds. Let's change that to 2. Autoplay and resume. So autoplay, I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure. Like, so let's say like six seconds. Actually, that, that's, I'm not sure which one does what. So let's just start. Autoplay, I think, is when it starts the slideshow. And then the resume after, I'm not sure. So let's play with that. So I'm just going to hit save. And then let's preview the browser. OK, that's kind of odd. Um, and then. OK, so now it's doing a slide. So it's just like a side, sideways transition. But if I didn't want it to do that, I can change it. OK, so, so that, that's, that's interesting. So, so this is what that does. Um, so here, when you click on the times, the autoplay is once it starts doing the slideshow. So it waited six seconds to do the slideshow. <clears throat> but then it was transitioning them about every second. So we can change that to just be six. So I'm going to put them both at the same. And then instead of a horizontal transition, 
I'm going to set a fade. Let's see if we like that better. We'll, we'll take care of the little thing here. But six seconds later, it's going to fade in just like that. And what's nice is those photographs actually are, are kind of composed very similarly. So the faces line up, which is kind of cool, maybe even a little creepy, but it, 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 it is kind of cool. And I can click the button here to change the image whenever I want, which if this is truly a background, you probably actually don't want that. Ah, because I pinned it to top left. So if I pin this and I go top right, and then this one is pinned top left, then this, then the slideshow itself is full screen. So it's just going to be in the center. Actually, going to pin that top center. Oh, well, that's interesting. So they're pinned. There we go. That should that should work. So save. Now they should be at the at the sides. And it's not. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. If this was really a full screen background, guess what? I'm not going to have these dudes here anyway. So goodbye. Now what I can do is create a rectangle, okay? And I can start it like this. Okay? <clears throat> Fill it with white and have a page that starts maybe about here. And what's interesting is you see how she's getting really big, right? Because I keep extending the page. But that's actually not what's going to happen. Um, so let's just save this and then let's preview how this works. See, and then it scrolls up. Kind of cool, OK? And because I didn't set this to be the width of the browser, so what's really important here is I didn't set this to be uh, width of the browser. So right now, you see resize is set to none. I might even set it to responsive width. <coughs> and then you can see how that might, it'll change. And then if I change the width of the browser, you can see how it does get a little smaller, OK? but not much. And now my background is sitting there and changing, and I can scroll down and see whatever I want out of the, out of the image. So that's kind of a cool way of doing things. Um, but again, there are some problems like this. If somebody moves to a smaller browser, now I'm not necessarily going to know that that is there. So you know, we do have some issues um, that we might have to deal with a little bit later. I might bring this up a little bit more because um, I know that they're um, then that might not see it. The other thing is, notice that the images are filling centered. So if you go real small here, you're going to chop off their heads. Um, and I'm not sure how to change that. Oh, probably in the pin. No, I pinned it to the top, didn't I? Yeah, the pinning, I'm not sure. We'd have to play with that again. But just choose an image where that's not that big of an issue, and I think that you'd be fine. So this just gives you another option for your backgrounds. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of you may not use it, um, but it at least shows you that it's there. So quickly in review, if you want to do a full screen image as a background, there are two ways to do it. You can just go in and click out in the middle of nowhere here, and you get your options for your page, you can click on the browser fill and add an image. The other way to do it and have more images or have a slideshow is by using the slideshow, full screen slideshow widget. Again, I'm not going to um, do a full demo on slideshows quite yet, but that will be uh, coming up soon. What some people have done is instead of doing this, they've used slideshows in the case of this. So here where I have this guy sitting here, and it's a, you know, just a normal thing, you could actually have this be a slideshow instead of your normal rectangle with the background. So a lot of people have been playing with that. That's great. Like I said, I'll do a demo on slideshows later. Um, but hopefully that gives you a good sense of what's going on.
Yes? All right. Good to go.